Hey family, this is God's Gifts. Uh, today is March 2nd, 2022. And I wanted to tell you about a dream I had this morning, uh, right before I woke up. Um, I saw in the clouds, I was looking up into the sky. It was a lot lighter than this, but there was a lot of clouds around. And there was like a banner from an airplane, but there was no airplane. And it says, it is time. And then there was this shape in the middle. And then there was more writing after, but I could, I read it at first and I went to go get my phone to take a picture of it. But the sun, it was like my hands were being held back from getting my phone. It was like they were so heavy. I couldn't pick it up. And finally, when I did get my phone to take a picture of what I was seeing in the sky of this sign, the sun started going behind a cloud and the back end of the, the, um, the sign was, I couldn't read it. It was being blotted out. Like I wasn't allowed to see it. And then as I woke up, I heard, I heard these words here. Um, right before I woke up, I heard North of Korea and I knew it wasn't North Korea, but North of Korea. Now, I am geographically challenged, so, you know, I had to go look some of these things up. So I did a study, and I went, uh, well, first of all, my sister Della and I were doing prayers this morning, and she got these verses, but if anyone loves God, then the same is known by him, 1 Corinthians 8, 3. And she also got, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Jesus Christ, Philippians 3.14. And I received a verse, um, my verse of the day was Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So this was my verse and her verse today. And so I went online and I said, you know, what is north of Korea? And this is what it brought me to. Um, the name of Korea derives from the name Goreo. The Goreo itself was first used by the ancient kingdom of Gagorio. And it reminded me of Gog, like the Lord was showing me that this kingdom was the Gog kingdom that we were looking for and it's eastern asia so i wanted to share some of the things that i was shown in this um so the lord was telling me it was north of korea so you have north and south korea i'm i'm guesstimating here and this whole thing was was the uh Gogeo, or however you say it i'm sorry guys it's new to me but this kingdom, Gog, I'm just going to call it Gog, was set up. It was a great kingdom of three uh, central kingdoms that became one. And here's another picture of it also. There's South Korea, North Korea, and then China is north of it. And then above that, right up in here, is, is Russia. So we have these two kingdoms, China and Russia, which are north of it. And this is like... Like I said, it comes from Gog. So it says that uh, the country is bordered by China and Russia to the north, by the Republic of Korea, South Korea to the south. And then I found, you know, this Gregeo, um or Gog was a mighty kingdom for, for a very long time. I didn't know this, guys. Like I said... <laughs> This is not my forte on, you know, this is just something the Lord led me to, to understand this and think about it. North Korea, Kim Jong-un, what does he always want to do? Didn't Trump call him Missile Man or something like that? But anyway, it was established in 37 BC and the fall of it was 688 AD. So the time of Jesus and, and the apostles knew about this, this, uh, Gog place. And it's today, it's part of North and South Korea and China. 
So I got to looking at it. It was Romanized, meaning the Romans had something to do with changing the name so that we didn't know. This is my understanding, and and anybody who knows history and geography may be able to add to this. This is just what I have received. And it was an active participant in the power struggle for control of the Korean Peninsula and was also associated with neighboring China and Japan. Um, I, I took some pictures of some of the things that I wanted to find out about it. Uh, Gog or Gregorio was one of the greatest powers in the East, Eastern Asia. And, you know, our Lord sent the apostles to Asia, the seven churches, and these were three kingdoms of Korea at the very top. I have it underlined. So what the Lord is showing me that in that sign, the time is now, and he's pointing to um, north of Korea, which is China and Russia. It may be the Gog of Ezekiel 38 and 39 that he's pointing to. I know family that we are really close it's also if you look down here this is um they have a bunch of tombs they found a bunch of tombs in 2006 that um were of the naki tombs and so i looked it up and this is where the tombs are located and it says the anak tombs number three they had three of them listed had over 10,000 Gagora tombs. About 90 of those unearthed in China and Korea have wall paintings on them. They use these burial sites for kings, queens, and members of the royal family. The murals on the walls show daily life and mythology of the time. The Anak area in South Hwange province and in Jinun in China... So I was, you can read more on this, what I have here, but following were considered by UNESCO of these Gog tombs, inscriptions as the World Heritage Site. In May 2006, 2,360 tombs were discovered in ancient Gog kingdom. This is one of the pictures of the Anak paintings. And here's another one. And so this m was my verse of the day. You know, he's telling, uh, tell, told me before I even was awake, you know, time, it is time. And then I received this verse of the day, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So let me go back here. Okay. So I was looking some things up on, on the Anakis and, and different things. And this one verse came up with, um, and when the land and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether it be wood therein or not, and be ye of good courage and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was when the time of the first ripe fruit or first ripe grapes and then in verse 22, and they ascended. But the first ripe, I looked it up, it's Bakur. And Bakur is, is the first of the crops and fruits that ripened was gathered and offered to God according to the ritual of Pentecost, the bread made of the new grain offered at Pentecost, and the day of the first fruits at Pentecost. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, the Lord is definitely pointing to our time um, I don't know, but to have this dream, it is time. And that thing there reminded me of a UFO. I don't know why, but the shape of it, the first thing I thought in my head in my dream was that looks like a UFO. And I was focused on it, trying to get my phone to get the picture. And then the sun started being blotted out and I couldn't read the rest of it. And I'm still praying, may, may the Lord bless us to remember what it was, but this is what I found out family. Um, only the Lord knows what, you know, our time is, but I have to say, um, let me, let me look something up here. Um, 
Uh, what am I looking for? So this is this is March, okay. Now in this, we're in what they what they call the new moon is the one that God does not approve of because it has to be the first sighting. So I'm going to go to the fourth here, and it's at four percent, which is the time that they should be able to see uh, the new moon. So we should be coming upon the new moon of the twelfth month. We are still in the eleventh until then, until the sighting, which should be around. Probably the third, fourth, um, it should be coming in the next two days. But what I want to show you also is, um, hold on a second. Move this out of the way. So what I want to show you here is, okay, in April, the new moon of April should be around a third second or third they can see it here at the two percent but you know i mean it's 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 likely so we may be seeing it here or here so one of these days is the new year this is when 2021 becomes 2022 this is the first month of Nisan, which means their flight, which is in Esther. So I wanted to share this with you guys and keep your eyes open. We could be going any time now. The Lord has shown us with a lot of things that are going on um, that it's, it's definitely ramping up. And something that I wanted to share with you here is um, Numbers 12.6. And he, which is the Lord, said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him and speak a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. Now I'm going to leave these links for the prophets I believe were sent to America was Dmitry Dudeman, who saw Russia evading the U.S. nuclear sites. And he saw it all across, you know, the United States on the east and west coast. And he called, he called the west coast. Uh, Sodom and Gomorrah he called the east coast Sodom and Gomorrah and he also called Florida Sodom and Gomorrah in this and then there's Henry Groover who saw a Russian invasion um, they're both sent I believe I I don't feel I don't know why Henry Groover just to me seems like he got very popularized but God did use him and I believe what they saw is true so family I I just pray that you know what what we're what we're seeing right now you know is the time God is showing us there's something coming our time is at hand and these clouds you know represent a storm coming it's blotting out the sun and the words God is showing us is kind of fading away so be strong family God bless you all. Jesus Christ is coming. His word is true. He is giving, you know, his outpouring to his people in dreams and visions. He sent the prophets to warn America. I, If you haven't watched Dimitri Dudeman, please watch it. I will leave the links. God bless you all, family. We're nearing the end of our time. Uh, I don't know. March is definitely going to be rough, I believe. But God has us in all things. God bless you all, family. This is God's gifts.